Today on Draw Link, we are curing Art Block. Hey, I'm Ben. And I'm Abby. And we're self-taught artists documenting our drawing adventures because art is better when shared with friends. So click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And don't forget to check out our guidebook on daily drawing linked below. Your Art Block is cured. Congratulations. Wow, you've done it. Thank we, you. We've done it. We've done it. Ben, how have we done it? Because I'm actually walking into this totally blind and I was told to say we are curing Art Block. Yeah, because we're going to cure Art Block right now with all these sketches that I made. Oh, are they gonna inspire people to draw and like feel like they wanna draw because they're seeing you draw and it looks like fun? Maybe. I think that sounds good. <laughs> the cheeky grin on your face, like maybe. <laughs> uh, starting off with this sketch here, which you liked a lot and I liked a lot too. Yeah. I have uh, definitely leveled up my lines mm. lately. Mm. Um, Absolutely. Still very chicken scratchy, I will say, but I feel like I have made one particular breakthrough about line weight recently that I'm very happy uh, to show off in Let's this this drawing right here. Oh, it's just something I've mentioned once before, I think, where instead of, in the past, I used to start with really thick lines uh, because I couldn't see my lines very well, or, or I just didn't know that this was a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And I would just have all these thick lines everywhere. But instead, by starting with thin lines, I can now build thick lines on top, like what I'm doing right now. So it's like, save the thick lines for the end, where you can like, you know, indicate shadows or like the overlap of the chin on the neck or like a darker area, like the mm -hmm. gap between the lips and save the thin lines for, or not save, but start with the thin lines that can just kind of go everywhere. I like it. I like it. Did you learn that um, from a specific artist? I think you mentioned you were maybe lowish. Uh, that is something she has said before. Mm -hmm. I might have said that, but that's, it's something, you know, it's one of those things that you hear, uh, you know, maybe a million times, but not until you like go through the repetition do you fully understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that is true for many things I have found in art. And the best way to learn those things is purely by repetition, doing yeah. the thing a lot. 100%. And the best way to do the thing a lot is to find the thing that you like doing and do that. And you like portraits. Yeah, I, I like, like, a lot I like of drawing like faces a lot more than drawing full bodies. Mm -hmm. uh, the same thing is true for sculpting. I greatly prefer sculpting faces over sculpting full bodies. Ugh, but you're so good at full bodies too. I still remember this uh, Spider Gwen sculpt you did. Oh, yeah, that was just, a fun one. Yeah, and you sculpted parts of her like without reference. You're like, I just know how this looks back here in the back mm -hmm. in the back muscles and what those do. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> I do know a lot about anatomy and form, but I've, I, which is so crazy because I'm so bad at drawing. I say this all the time. One day I won't uh, need to say that anymore because I'll be actually good at drawing. Um, but the tool set is so different between sculpture and 2D that it is very hard for me to illustrate excuse the pun, those skills, here in the 2D realm. I love that though about you because it answers, I think in some ways almost definitively, that age old question from many artists who are getting started both with 2D and with sculpting. Yeah. Do I need to learn anatomy first? And you know anatomy first. Do you mean drawing first? Do I need to learn drawing Just, first? nope, anatomy. Like oh. know about muscles and where they go. And is it helpful? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, it's definitely helpful. But is it necessary? Will it be the deciding factor of being a, a good at drawing person or good at sculpting? Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. It won't no. make you no, good at not. it. And no, it, I, I know actually quite a lot about anatomical form. Yeah. Um, uh, but yes, I am, I am not fantastic at drawing. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Well, you're a lot better though. And a I lot think... better, yeah, than I than I've been in the past. A lady night. A lady night. I, well, I, I mean, as those who have watched our videos recently know, I am a night artist. It's my whole identity. I uh, d introduce myself. I say, "Hi, I'm Ben. I draw nights." It's, and everybody says, "Wow." It's my whole identity. Wow. Um, <laughs> And then Abby tried to steal my identity and I was very upset. <laughs> it was identity theft. Identity theft. <laughs> and I'm back, I'm back and I'm reclaiming my heritage. Ooh. My night drawing heritage. Well, I still cool. really like drawing nights. It's the contrast between the hard metal and the, the soft face. Oh, what did I say? The fact that you don't have to draw hair. <laughs> the fact that I don't have to draw hair. Uh, I feel like 
it's very rare that you get to draw interesting headwear. Mm -hmm. I, something about helmets, there's a lot of variety, and they frame the face in a really unique way. There's just a lot mm -hmm. of cool different shapes that can happen there that you wouldn't normally see. I'd love to be able to draw like hard surface in general. I feel like it requires a little bit more detailed um, mastery of perspective than I would necessarily need for a portrait per se. Yeah. Um, just because I think they'd be cool. I'd love to be able to draw like sci-fi scenes where people are in like a sci-fi kind of mechanic, mechanical sort of environment. Absolutely. Uh, but it requires a lot of attention to detail and being able to draw, in my opinion, a lot more in perspective than just an isolated person. <laughs> You'd have to plan a lot of your perspective in, unless you can into it pretty yeah. well, which I cannot into it perspective extremely well. I, I know, I'm like, eh, I could try, but then I think I'd waste a lot of time fixing my mistakes, and eventually maybe I'd build up a repertoire mentally of being able to do it, but in the meantime, I should probably use reference. So what do you think? Do you, do you think we've cured art block yet? You're curing my art block. You had art block? Mm, probably. Pro <laughs> wow, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I don't think, in my opinion, just to get real for five quick seconds, art block is not something that you can or should try to uh, cure in the sense of watching a YouTube video. It's definitely something where you need to genuinely hit pause and take a moment to assess your life and ask yourself, why am I burnt out? Why am I experiencing this blocking? Like, what is going on in my life that I need to potentially change or, um, you know, figure out? Mm -hmm. I think there's so much, yeah, that, it's, it's an endless discussion, art block. That feeling of, I want to draw, but I can't. I don't know what to draw. I don't know how to draw anymore. It's not going to be good anyway. Why should I start? I think there's so much in that discussion. It, it doesn't boil down to any one thing to me. I think it, it just revolves around like what that person needs in that time. Which is why I said it, it comes down to taking time to yeah. hit pause and assess. I agree. I agree. I didn't mean to refute what you were saying. It, um, I but yeah, it's a very extensive conversation that is a, a conversation had across many, many industries um, experience like burnout. Yeah. Healthcare for one, that's always a topic. It's like, why are y'all burnt out? And I've got some different answers for that one. Hey, but. Yeah, because <laughs> you don't pay us all, uh, enough and we work insane hours. And very, very hard and do very, very hard work that's very emotionally taxing. Absolutely. But a lot of nurse literature is like, here's why you you should care more and put all your feelings into every Ooh. patient and I'm like if I as a newer nurse I remember thinking like if I put all my feelings into patients I will have nothing left yeah, <laughs> there will I mean, be nothing nothing left for me to give to the rest of the world at all I, or I've myself. said this many times and I think I've said it many times on drawably I could never do what you do but yeah it's it's become easier the longer I've done it and I've come to appreciate it far more as I've done it longer did, did you see what I did by the way you Light added line, a dun, thicker dun, dun, line dun, pass um, I like mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, I like mm -hmm. that and look at these lines a lot of them have a long Long, distinct flow to them um, which is what I mean when I say like oh like I challenge you to divest your div divest yourself from as much of the the scratchiness but you know everybody's got their own style I will not divest myself and I'm not sure if that's might a even word be the right word it is a word I but I might be using it incorrectly I will not diverge myself from my terrible I almost want to diverge but I almost mm, felt like mm, divest was still mm. a good one there. Let's look up some other die words while we're here. <laughs> die, die, die hard. <laughs> die hard. I will not die hard here. <laughs> this reminds me, or that portrait reminded me of how with Ken Liu's sketches that I copied, like having a big dark area, just as it almost becomes a rest area. Yeah. Uh, this is a, such a cool reference. Very. Um, Th this is actually the first one that I did from this drawing session, um, but it was not great because it was the first one I did. So I kind of threw it on here at the end. Mm -hmm. I like this one. I've seen the finished result on this one and I, I think it reads like very dimensional, like it's coming towards you. It was an Abbey like style where, you know, I went printer style instead oh. of like starting with the whole proportional thing. That's because so I didn't, sweet. I didn't know if I was going to do the whole thing. I just liked that eye. So I was like, ooh, I'll start with the yeah. eye. And yeah. Then, and then I kind of just continued. 
for that's that. how art should be you're like i like a couple things in this i'm gonna draw those really well phone in the rest and then just say man those are my areas of focus oh, everything yeah. else okay. is meant to be like blurry you know we don't want to distract from the great areas of focus wow yeah, see, draw what you want. Calling and, out art is pretty hard And here. then the rest is just like not the area of focus, okay? <laughs> and maybe this is actually the last one. I thought that last one was the last one. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, you have done so much drawing. I have to give it to you. You have been like, you probably draw like almost every day for realsies. Maybe not while we were in Japan. Not because when we were on vacay, but uh, I do thing. normally try to draw every day. Yeah. I, I don't genuinely draw every single day and i don't think that that's like necessarily a good goal because you know life gets in the way you're you have to be accepting of that yeah and that's something to, we even talk accept about that you're gonna have failures yeah and be welcoming of those failures i mean ha part of developing a lifelong and really strong habit is being welcoming and kind to yourself about when you have failures and not because if you aren't those failures are going to derail your progress so much if you don't allow yourself to like just be like it's okay if I miss a day, and that's something we even talk about in our guidebook, How to Easily Draw Every Day, is about like accepting and embracing the days where you don't, because that's the truth about it is, you know, there's, there's things we want to be able to do every day, and we can't necessarily. Oh my gosh, your sketches are cool, and I like them with the green a lot. Thank you. I like that green quite a bit. That's a cool shade. And if you want to be a cool shade, click that like and subscribe button and check out our guidebook that Abby just talked at length about, how to easily draw every day, at the link below in the description. And share your work on Instagram with hashtag drawbly because drawing is better with friends and people to look at it. And this is the part where we say... Goodbye. Goomba. Should we go do our daily drawing now? Our daily drawing? At Starbucks. I mean, you know I'm always down. I know you are, and I am, so let's do it.